My favorite drugstore makeup products from 2020. Stay tuned. Hi, and welcome to my channel. My name is Sheila. Thank you so much for stopping by today. In today's video, I'm going to talk about my favorite drugstore makeup from 2020. And it's makeup that I would wear on a daily basis. Now, when I say drugstore makeup, well, honestly, that's all I wear is drugstore makeup. So I wouldn't be talking about any other kind. Well, before I start into these products, I want you to know that they're from a lot of different brands. I think I have 11 different brands. I didn't plan that, but it turned out that they all come from different brands. So that was kind of neat. I didn't realize I had tried so much. Before I get started, I'd like to invite you to subscribe to my channel Ring that bell for all future notifications. Give me a like if you like it. And please leave me a comment on what your favorite makeup product or products were for 2020. Now, I plan to continue to use mine in 2021 because these are products that work very well for me. They work for my skin type. They work for my age. I'm 69 years old. I have dry skin. Well, it's normal to dry, but it does lean dry. So these things work for me. So let me get started. And I'm going to do it by brand as opposed to, you know, what product I put on first and all that. But this will cover a full face of makeup. So my first brand I'll start with is e.l.f. And that's going to involve a primer. I do like primers, and I have several, and I like all of them. But the one I go to most of all is the e.l.f. Poreless Putty Primer. I have the regular, and I have the luminous. I love this stuff. It does what it says it's going to do. It works great under any makeup that I try. Not that I wear a lot of foundation, but when I do, this works great. The other e.l.f. product involves my eyebrows. Now, fortunately, I never plucked in, or shaved my eyebrows or anything, so I still have my eyebrows. They're getting thin on the inside and just a little thin on the tails. So all I use is this e.l.f. Brow Wow. I love this. I don't use any pencils. I have in the past. Nothing beats this for me. And I've tried other brow products like this. Nothing compares to the e.l.f. Brow Wow. I've heard it compared to as a dupe for the Glossier Boy Brow by several uh, big YouTubers who try all different kind of products. But I get it in the shade Taupe. I love this little brush that it has. And it's got fibers in it. So you can fill in just where you need to. And the color for me, taupe, is perfect. It fills in if there's any bare spots showing or any gray hair, it coats them. And then the little fibers just thicken it up. So it's quick and easy. I spend about 20 seconds doing my eyebrows, both of them. I just swipe it on, swipe it on, and I'm done. Love this. And I'll definitely be using it in 2021. The next brand I want to talk about is Physician's Formula. My favorite bronzer of all time is this Butter Bronzer from Physician Formula. I have mine in the shade Sunset Bronze. I love this. I love the smell of it. I do. Oh gosh, it just reminds me of the beach. And it's the perfect shade for me. It's really creamy or buttery, as the name goes. And it has just a slight sheen to it. Nothing that would jump out at you. 
but it's the perfect shade. You're probably not going to see it. I'm swapping it on my hand. I don't know if you'll be able to tell. But it's the kind and the shade that if I just had on my sunscreen, I can take a brush and take this and just go all over my face with it. And it looks fantastic. It just, it just gives me that completed look. Now I do have other bronzers that I like and enjoy, but on a daily basis, it's this. And I can also use it as an eyeshadow. Just, just put that on and that's it. So that's that. Also from Physician's Formula are some liquid blush. Now I love blush and I love the liquid and the creams or the sticks, any of those. Just love them. Well, these are the Physician's Formula Organic Wear Elixir Blush. And I have a rosy color, a pink color, and a peach color. These are beautiful. I just put a little on my hand. You don't need much. I tap it in on my upper cheeks here, and it's just perfect. It gives such a beautiful look. I have a hard time with powder bronzers. I'm not bronzers, blush, and I have some pretty ones, but they show more texture, and being the age that I am, and the fact that I wear my blush up high, it shows that texture, those lines coming down like that, where the liquids and the creams and the sticks do not, so I, I'm just uh, sticking with these tight products. I have one product from Garnier. I talk about this on my channel all the time. And it's the Garnier Clearly Brighter uh, Roller Ball for under the eyes, for dark circles. I use this as a concealer. It's perfect. It is so creamy. Can you see that at all? It's so lightweight. Now, it's not going to provide a lot of coverage. But I can't wear a lot of coverage because of the wrinkles and the lines. So this I can put on. I can just tap it in. I don't even have to look in the mirror. And it really brightens up my under eye without settling into any wrinkles, any lines, any anything. And you can reapply right over top of it later on in the day. And it doesn't cake up or build up. It's just perfect. I absolutely love this and this is what I wear every single day. All right, now I'm going to talk about Flower Beauty. Now I love a lot of their products. I have their foundation, the Light Illusion, and I have their powder. But my favorite of all are the Flower Balm blushes. These are beautiful. I have like a cinnamon color, a pink, a peach, a bronzy color. They are just gorgeous. Just I put a little on my hand again, tap it, tap it in right here. And they have such a beautiful, beautiful finish. And I love these. Next is Milani. And I use two products from Milani. The one here is the eyeshadow primer. I know many people use this, and it's the one that works best for me. I have tried a couple other drugstore eyeshadow primers. Nothing beats this for me. I just put a little dot, though. If I put too much, it's going to settle into these fine lines or wrinkles up here, especially on the inside corner. So I just put a little dot, rub it between two fingers, and just tap it in if I'm going to wear eyeshadow, and it works beautifully for me. The other Milani product, I'm not a big powder wearer because I have dry skin and I really don't need powder, but occasionally if I use it, I use this uh, Milani, what is this called, Prep, Set, and Glow. I love this. It's very light, very fine. It doesn't even feel like powder. It feels like silk. And it's so light, it doesn't cake up on you. 
And I might just brush a little, you know, up here or under each eye because it, it has a little bit of a sheen to it. You really do glow with it and it's not heavy. So this is it and I'm sticking with it. Next is Wet n Wild. From Wet n Wild, I have two more blushes. I told you I was into the cream and liquid and stick blushes. And I have one in a, a coral color and one in a pink color. Again, it's the same thing. You can just take this and swipe it on each side. Pat it in with your finger. I'll show you the colors here. They're so pretty. This is the coral color and that's the peach color. I mean the pink color. And they are really pretty. They're soft. They stay. I love them. Next we will go with, let me see, uh, well Maybelline. I only have one Maybelline product and that is this mascara. This is the Maybelline Colossal. I get this from Marshalls and TJ Maxx. It's $2.99 and I love it. It makes my eyelashes thick and long and separated. It does everything I need them to do. It does not make any transfer or dots up here. It doesn't flake. Nothing falls down here. And it's just perfect for me. I've been wearing this all year. And I have to say, it is my favorite. Now, I do want to talk for a minute about this. This is a L'Oreal product. And it's the Lash Extreme, I believe it's called, Voluminous Superstar Fiber. I showed this in a video about a month or a month and a half ago and said I would get back to you on it. I had watched three videos where the girl said this was a tubing mascara. It has the um, eyelash primer on one side and then the mascara on the other side. Well, it confused me because nowhere does it say it's a tubing mascara, but three different girls who have large channels said that it was. So I tried it. I really do like it, but I still can't tell you if it's a tubing mascara. The reason why is I know tubing mascaras, you're supposed to be able to just take warm water, put it on your eyelashes and come down. And then the little tubes that coat your lashes are just kind of laying here. They look like little spider legs. This didn't do that. However, I just took warm water, put it on my fingers, laid it here, came down like that, and it was off. But it wasn't in those tubes. So I have no idea if it is a tubing mascara or not. I know you do not need to use soap of any kind or a cleansing balm to get it off. Warm water will do it. So that's the story on this. Speaking of L'Oreal, I do use a couple L'Oreal products. And this is the L'Oreal Voluminous Lash Primer. I use this every day because I do wear mascara every day. I love this. I know many people do. It's very affordable. It does the trick. I've tried other uh, lash primers and nothing compares to this. So this is my favorite. Also from L'Oreal, this uh, Lumi, what is this called? Lumi Shake and Glow Dew Mist. This is a setting spray. Now, I'm not crazy about setting sprays, and I don't wear enough makeup to set anything. But if I did, or if I do have on makeup, say for a video, I don't like to spray this on my face because I don't like the spray, or it leaves a couple like big clumps or something. But I spray it on a sponge, a beauty blender type sponge, and then I just tap it in where I want to tap it in. So this would be my favorite. And this is by L'Oreal Age Perfect. Now this is a true concealer, which I told you I don't wear concealers. I wear this Garnier Rollerball under here. But if I, I have tried this 
and it, I love it. It's wonderful. If I need, we're going to put on a concealer going somewhere, which who is, but um, I would wear this because it didn't cake on me. It is thin. It's creamy. It provides coverage, not a heavy, thick coverage, but enough that I could get by with it. Now, if I wore it all day long, it would probably settle in creases. I don't know. I've never worn it all day long, but my Garnier doesn't settle in anything. But this is a really nice product, so I would wear it if I were going to wear a concealer. And my, well, two more to go. Now I'm going into Neutrogena. I'm not a big foundation wearer. I like tinted moisturizers or BB creams, things like that. This Neutrogena Protect and Tint Tinted Moisturizer. I love this. I wore it all summer. It's too dark for me to wear now, but it was just perfect. It had just enough color in it to even out the skin tone, but it just feels like, well, a moisturizer because that's what it is. So this is very nice and light on the skin, and I really love the look it gave me. If I were to wear a foundation, which like I said, I don't do often. For videos I may, or if I was going somewhere special. But if I did, and I have a lot of different foundations, but my favorite would be this Neutrogena Hydra Boost um, Hydrating Tint with Hyaluronic Acid. This is lovely, just lovely. It's everything I would want in a foundation. It is very hydrating. It does, I feel, like kind of make your skin look a little more plump, maybe because of the hyaluronic acid. It's very light. Now, I'm sure you could get a medium coverage out of it. I don't. That's why I like it, because I can get a very light coverage. I like the applicator very much, and you probably won't even see that. It's such a thin layer that I put on, and all I have to do is lightly touch it like this, and it's gone. It just fades into the skin. That's how light it is. So this stuff is wonderful, and I hope they never discontinue it. My next product is going to be from Profusion. Now, these are eyeshadow palettes, and I have three of them. I showed this one a week or two ago on my channel. This is the one called Bare. I love Profusion eyeshadows. If I'm going to wear an eyeshadow, it's going to be Profusion. I love these particular shades because they're on the light side. These are $5 for 10 eyeshadows. That's fantastic. They are very pigmented. They don't have fallout for me. And they stay. When I put them on, if I put it on in the morning to do a video and I leave it on all day, it looks the same as it did when I put it on that morning. It doesn't move. It doesn't crease. It doesn't do anything. And I also have this one that's called Mauves. And I've shown this one before. But these are beautiful mauve shades. And I love pinks and mauves. So these shades are right up my alley. The only other one I have which is old is called Mattes. And as you can see, I hit pan on these lighter shades because I only wear the light shades. I, I don't go into the darker ones. But the quality is just fantastic. I can't believe it for $5. Last product I'm going to talk about is the lips. And for those of you who know me, I was never a lipstick girl. And I started wearing lipstick this year and I'm having so much fun. I have bought many drugstore lipsticks from L'Oreal, Maybelline, Wet n Wild, anybody. 
and I'm loving them all as long as they're kind of light shades. But my absolute most favorite that I would wear every single day are these ones by Revlon. It's the um, HD Vinyl Lip Polishers. Emily Noel just put these in her uh, favorite award lip products for 2020. And they are fantastic. And I have three shades. This one is a lighter shade of pink. Not much. These look very close. Another shade and then this coral shade. I tell you the names, there's no way I can read the print. These are very opaque. They have a, they stain the lip. It's not a lip stain, but I mean the color, colors your lip. And then it has a shine, a gloss, all in the, the one package. And it just, it feels so good on the lips. They don't feel sticky like a gloss. They don't feel drying like some lipsticks do. But it's like you get everything in one. You have the, the lipstick, the nice color that stays, and then the shine. And I just love these. So this is my favorite out of all the different lipsticks I have tried. This is it. Well, that's it for my favorite drugstore makeup products from 2020 that I will certainly be carrying into 2021. They don't fail me. I can count on these products. I'm completely satisfied with everything I talked about. Well, now it's time for me to leave you with an Inside Beauty tip. Today's Inside Beauty tip is something I want for all of us. It's five things to always remember and one thing to never forget. Since we're approaching the new year of 2021, this might be something we would like to carry with us in our hearts every day as we approach each day in 2021. So number one is take the days just one at a time. Number two, count your blessings, not your troubles. Number three, don't take things too seriously. Number four, remember that friendship is a wise investment. Number five, remember a little love goes a long way. And don't ever forget, even for one day, how special you are. I wanted to share that with all of you as we get ready to go into a new year. Sometimes we, we look at things as the whole year and that's not necessarily good sometimes. It's better to look at each day, just take each day and appreciate it for what it is. And just like the five things that we should always remember, you know, about friendships, and don't take things too seriously. Just enjoy your life one day at a time. That's the one that stands out the most to me because every day counts. Every day matters. And of course, like I said, remember how special you are. Each and every one of you are very special human beings and I am grateful for all of you. I wish you the very best in the upcoming new year. Well, that's all I have for you today. I thank you for being here. I really appreciate it. And until we meet again, this is the old girl signing out. See ya!